Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Pack on the Hermitcraft modded server and today we are back over here and we're going to straight away stick our head in here in our crafting grid and uh, you can see that I have made something well, nearly made something and that is a drill. So many people have been talking about this thing, going, oh my god, it's the upgrade, you know, you can get all the things you could ever want. I should probably turn this off, I think I turned that on, and that's why I drain power so quickly sometimes. I don't even know why, does that, that drains power for like no reason sometimes, which is so, so weird, especially when I need to use that to charge this thing up. Oh, it's going to take quite a lot, it's going to take quite a lot. Let's, let, let's, let's give this a go, I don't know how... This works. Nine attack damage. I was going to say, does it do better than than my actual sword? But anyway, let's head down here real quick. As you can see, nothing much has changed since the last episode. Let's give it a go. I don't feel like this is any better than what I already have, but it does save space in your inventory in that you can dig up both grab uh, like both like shovel stuff and pickaxe stuff and hammer stuff all in one i mean i guess it's not really hammer stuff because you can't get um three by three which is a bit of a shame but there's got to be something else to this is there like some kind of upgrade i know you can change the color of it which is kind of cool you can get a vertical digger you can change it to all the color ice cream cones in the world which is what, basically what it looks like and then I think that is it. It uses RF per block. It can be charged in an energy dresser. Let's quickly have a read of this. We can have the cosmetic effects, yes. So different dyes and stuff. Oh, what is this? Drill speed. Oh, okay. So we can actually update it. So it's an actually additions, which is helpful. So I can look at that. And to make a speed uh, number three, it takes this stuff, which I don't know about that, the empowered one, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, the empowered stuff I'm not sure about. Fortune. Oh, so you can get Fortune 3 and then you can get Mining... Drill Mine. I don't know what that one means. Drill Block Placing. I don't... I don't know what those things mean, but we can we can give those a go. I'm going to charge this thing up a little bit while my Torturino is not on. And um, use up all the RF. Um, and then... Um, yeah, then I'll come back when hopefully I've played around with it. I'm not sure what colour of, of drill I want right now. I think maybe I'll go with black. We'll, we'll go with the black and red theme. We'll be super evil on the server. I don't know. I went and spooked uh, Impulse just a second ago. He is currently live on the server. Look at him. He's live. Mr. Impulse is streaming. Um, I don't think he's recording videos on here. I could be wrong. I think he's just streaming it, which is great. It's a really, really great way to learn, and which is why I'm so, so hyped about modded at the moment, and still am. I feel like I've got to the stage where last time I was done. And now I just want to like find new things to do and new things to make. I really enjoy crafting in this game mode, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's called Minecraft, so yes, crafting. But uh, but yes, yeah, so I'm enjoying it so far. But um, I really want to explore this drill thing because if we can get rid of all these three things here, or at least at least you know have that and the hammer, I will be very very happy indeed. After looking and noticing that you actually need to make something called an empowerer, this here to make the uh, the fancy stuff. Um, yeah, I want to make one of these, but I also saw on the next thing here that there's a display stand. Now, I remember seeing these things here down in World's Night's base, or at least his old base. I don't know if he's here anymore. In fact, what has he actually got here? He's got this, uh, energy cube, which is kind of cool. I, I definitely think there's some kind of power, you know, attaching to this stuff somehow. I'm not, I'm not actually sure how that works. I'm not actually sure what this thing is, so if anyone can explain feel free. I'd love to, you know, do some wireless power stuff. That could be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is the power in the middle, and then you can put toast on this. <laughs> it's a display stand, which, I mean, I want for my toast. Just, just, why not? <laughs> no, but uh, my toast sandwich, I should say, not just toast. It is a toast sandwich. It is superior in the toast family. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to make now. I'm going to make the empowerer. We'll see what, what happens when we set that up, and, um, Hopefully, we can get all the stuff we need to make the drill upgrades, and then we'll be good to go. But let's just get, say I got a little bit carried away. I've made four of these display stands now, and I've actually completely forgotten what it is I was doing, because what I was doing while I was charging um, was I put um, Empowered on all four things of my armor. I've been researching what that does and how to do things. I believe there is something called a wireless charger that I can basically get these repaired when I'm nearby. 
And that I need to make a slice and splice thing for, which isn't too bad anyway, because we have the heads very, very easily to find. Uh, I mean, actually, you know what I was saying? I've got the heads already. I don't have any dark shears, but I think any shears work, and that should be cool. So yeah, I just need to wait and see. I, I basically need to get a bit more power. I'm not sure how to upgrade my wind generators. Like, they're okay, but they're not doing a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, I've actually forgotten completely about what I was doing here. I know for a fact it needed clay on one of the display stands, but I've literally lost completely what I was doing. I've lost track. I think it's because I was making I was making uh, little um, what mod is this again? Actually, additions, and then that's where I found it. Here we go. I want to make this drill speed uh, argument, or augment even, argument. Um, and I think that's going to be the best one to get. And I thought that this empowered one, yeah, okay, so it needs two clay, clay block, and light blue die with that in the center. So let's have a quick look at the information. Does it say anything about it? Doesn't seem to, other than it says what to do. So I'm going to get light blue die, clay and the diamonds, and we should be pretty good to go. I don't know where I'm going, because I, I've literally got it all here. All I need to get is lapis. Um, I will get some bone meal. I don't think I have any bone meal, so we'll just make some bones. And then I will get some clay as well, and then we should be pretty good to go. So I need one block. I need, obviously, some bone meal to make the light blue. And then, I believe, at least, I should be able to put that on there. That on there, that, that, and that on there, and then, and then I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> and then I do something. Oh, yeah, and then I need the crystal as well. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's get the diamondy, whatever it's called, -y thingy, my bob, put it there. Is that going to do anything? I have no idea. Maybe should do some more research. But this, this looks right. Yeah? This definitely looks somewhat right. Uh, light blue. Hmm. Clay, clay, clay. Huh. Because every mod needs an infusion altar. It doesn't actually say, like, how to do this. Which is a little bit annoying. Like, I don't like it when mods don't really fully explain. And I mean, these, these have quite a lot of power, these. You can see that the, these three are fully charged, and then I got lazy and didn't charge this one fully. But I don't think they need to be actually hooked up to, to the charges. So I thought it'd be okay. But there's definitely something more to this, so be up be. For being the dummy I am, I didn't read the fine print as always. I mean, well, not really as always. Although, saying that, I might actually try... Oh, hello. I don't want to do that. Uh, I might actually try using a block for this instead. Actually, let's do that last. So we need the light blue clay on one... And then two clay on another. It's very weird, weird items to be putting together. And uh, they need to be two blocks away, basically, was the problem. Oh, stuff's happening. How much is the charge doing? I don't know how long this takes, actually. That is one thing I do not know. Could take years, but it should have enough charge. I believe that that would be enough charge for a few different things to work, but... I'm hoping it's doing something. I hope that block actually works. I'm actually not sure. I, I should maybe not have done that. Maybe I should have just used the one. Oh, no, it worked perfect, perfectly. Yeah, I did a thing. I did a thing, guys, and it eats up all the things around it. Interesting. I didn't know that. Cool. So, now I need to make that into crystals, because that's what I need. And uh, we can go upstairs real quick and make it, which is very, very exciting. Then we should hopefully be able to use the drill a lot better, and also things like that. But yes, I did actually bring my comparator with me just in case I needed it. But uh, we can put it back now and let it charge up. Okay, second thing to make. Uh, well, actually saying that, oh, do I need four of these? Oh, I do need four of these, but I'll show you guys how to make one real quick. Seeing as though we're going to need some more things. Uh, we need to use a snowball... Grey dye. I don't know if don't know actually if these need to go in order. We'll, we'll give it we'll give it a go without. This should work like that. There we go. That works. I probably should have done it. Oh, that was actually a lot quicker than I realised. I probably should have done it with a block, and then you would have got nine automatically. But uh, I'll do three more of these, and then we should be able to uh, drill very very fast, and that should be a pretty good upgrade. Hopefully, I just hope I haven't wasted my time on this. 
Well, I'm either doing something wrong or I've just wasted my time <laughs> a little bit. Maybe it needs to be combined with other stuff. Who knows? I'm not going to talk about it too much right now. But basically the drill, I shift right click on it and that is where I put the... Uh, well, that, that's what I was playing around with. I was like, right clicking doesn't work. Shift right clicking, that seems to work. I'll put the upgrade in there. I guess that's where it goes. That's where the slot looks like. But it doesn't drill much quicker than normal. That That is it with the with it. Let's take it out. Oh my, oh my god, such fast. Wow, wow. I mean, yeah, it's not really that fast. <laughs> Which, I'm either doing something wrong or I don't... I don't really know, and I can't find any information on it. I hate when mods do not have the information on it. Uh, in fact, saying that, yeah, let's put that back on there. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that's going to be helping. Do I need another one of these? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys let me know. I won't use the drill just yet. We'll save it up for another time. I'm sure it is better. People kept telling me it was better than everything else. So uh, we will check it out at some point in the future, but not for now. And I do like making things whether or not I start using them or not because it gives me kind of a little bit of a heads up about how it is. But we will do something better with this design, by the way. This is just basic for now. And I have realized that my base isn't, it basically, it, it is even, which really frustrates me. But that means we have to go odd the other way, which is fine. It just means I need rooms that kind of work backing up on one another, basically, so. That's how we're going to have to go. Basically, that that is, you know, this this is definitely an odd thing. You can't have that even because of the one block in the middle thing. So, yeah, it doesn't quite line up, which is a bit of a shame, but it means we can, you know, mix different things in. But I really like how my base is set up so far. We just really need to mix in some other blocks, like up here. Again, this looks a lot more colourful and a lot more homely, whereas down here, it basically turns into a bit of a laboratory, especially with, like, villagers being kind of in the walls and stuff. But we'll work on that, we'll work on the details another time. But I'm um, very, very happy, at least, that we've got the Empower up and running. So apparently when I record late at night, I can't work things out. But as soon as I logged in this morning and was looking back at these upgrades, yeah, I decided that, oh, you probably need all three on there. So if I shift right click, you'll see that I've added all three. And now it digs like a mad thing, an absolute mad thing. So now if I dig through here, we I mean, it's cobble, so it's not going to be that quick, but... Basically, basically, it's a lot, a lot quicker, a lot, a lot quicker. <laughs> Great. I'm glad that I work these things out at the time and then not look like an idiot and not have people come in and go, oh my god, Fox, this is how you do it. And then by the time that, that, you know, I don't know, the comment comes out and then I've already done that, basically. But um, I think I'll probably add Silk Touch to it. Because uh, that's only one thing, so I'm guessing that's cool. I'm not sure what these things are. Drill mining. I'm guessing that might be upgrading for ores. Might have to look that up. And then block placing. So maybe right clicking with this thing, you'd be able to put a block. No, well, that's in. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I'll explore those at some point. That one's not too uh, too difficult to make. In fact, do I even have the stuff for that to try out? Not quite. What do I not have? One of these basic coils. Let's make uh, make this then. I want to just test it out. I want to test. I want to see what it does. How do you how you make it how you make it work? How you work? How how block placing? I can't seem to. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm basically trying out mods that I don't have a clue how they work. And yeah, but yeah, I, I was looking at someone else's video, and these actually said something like, you know, you need one and two or something. It said something like that underneath. So. I'm just glad it really had the answer. It didn't have the answer. I'm very, very sad about that. But I'm going to leave that one in there. Make the silk touch one. And then we're probably going to use that instead of my pick and my shovel. I'm going to chuck them in there already. I'm that confident that I'm going to use it. Hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, we need to make some more of these little things. Which I don't think I have yet. So let's maybe make some emerald stuff. And hope that we have a load. Kind of. We kind of have a few. This will work. Before that, I actually started work on a little bit of designing out the front here. Because I look at my house and I think, it looks alright, but it isn't quite there yet in the modded aspect of things. And then I was like, let's start on the path. 
Now, this path could do is with some, you know, use a little bit more work and stuff. It is obviously a work in progress. It isn't quite done. Like, I really want to get rid of this bit here. Get rid of you and uh, probably get rid of you also. Just to make it a little bit on the thinner side because it is getting a little bit wide here and there. Uh, in fact, saying that, I'm probably going to do the same here. So I'm going to get, have I got grass? I've got grass ones here. And then if I put those there, that kind of covers that over a little bit and keeps it kind of on the straight and narrow, which is what I want. I was going to make it shake, uh, like go side to side and stuff. But, um, I, you know, going down a hill is hard enough already. So, yeah, um, I've made it so that it works in that you should be able to walk up and down it. Not that I do walk up and down things. I do pretty much fly everywhere. But I want everyone to be able to reach my house without any issues. So there we go. We've added the slabs. Um, and it's all chisel and bits, basically. But I was trying, you know, smaller bits. Smaller than this. Um, Half-sized cube size. And it wasn't really working. It wasn't looking great. Although I have come up with this really cool thing here. Which I tried over here because I thought that the path would reach here. But... I want the path to fade out, and this is a really, really nice way for it to look like it's fading out. And I also want to add some darker shading with the grass in some places. I don't know if there's like a darker colour that is like grass in that it has a lot of different particles. Because, um, I don't know, I, I can't, yeah, I want it to look like it's kind of, there's a shadow on it basically. So I think I might need to either do that with a grey or a green. I think the grey might work better because the grass will then be growing over the top and casting a shadow onto the stone, which would be underneath. I think that's super, super cool. It's a really nice way of using it. But as you can see, I haven't really got anywhere yet. This is something that I'm going to have to work on in a live stream because it's going to take me forever to get it right. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys before I, you know, did anything crazy, you know, that this is what I'm, I've been working on. And just the little touches here and there, putting it into the blocks and, and things like that, they you know, really add to it rather than adding too many slabs. You only need one, basically, one of those little blocks there to be able to get up that block. So... Yeah, that's kind of what I've got going on, and also if you have missed, I have added a third windmill because we were having a few power issues. Might add a uh, another three, possibly, but I also am thinking maybe I'll wait to see if you guys think I should upgrade. And I'm not sure what I should upgrade to, there are lots and lots of different options in the pack, but I want something that's going to work nicely like these do. These look quite pretty, and yeah. I basically want something like these. So what, what what are these from? These are from Mechanism. I don't know if there's anything that I could find in here that maybe I want. Although saying that, there is a uh, saying that I've just I've just got the drill. I kind of also want the atomic disassembler. I remember that from Mod Source, and I loved it. That and Robot as well. Um, that looks really cool. But yeah, I think I'm gonna look through here a little bit. Maybe search some of these things up if I do find something that tickles my fancy but there are a few different things that I want to explore but I'm not really sure how to possibly solar I know a lot of the hammocks are on solar currently or have been but I don't know if people upgrade from that or if that's like a, a really good one to go for it's not super expensive I don't know how much these solar panels cost not too much I mean they are pricey but um I do need to actually some more osmium saying that saying that I really need to collect some more osmium because I think you can only mine it which means we need to go on a mining session. But now I've got my drill. And I've got a hammer. Which I think I need to make faster. We'll be, we'll be sorted. We'll go mining. We'll have a mining session. We'll finish up the path. And the live stream will be glorious, I'm sure. So uh, that'll probably be in the past for you guys. Since I am a little bit actually ahead of videos a little bit. Which is quite nice. But um, anyway, let me faff around with some more stuff. And I'll come back to you guys when... Um, when I'm ready to roll. So seeing as I've pretty much done a couple of things that went a bit quicker than uh, normal, or as I thought, I guess, um, over there, I thought I would explore some of the other things the hermits are working on, other things they've made. Rain shield? Oh, interesting. A screenshot. That's what I've been doing recently, by the way. I've been going around, and usually I press F1 to take a screenshot of, like, anything, but because it comes up in the top left what things are, yeah, I've been doing that. Oh, he had loads of stuff here, but I guess he removed it. I feel really, like, weird doing this now, because everyone is literally logged off. Um, I like his storage system, though. He's got modular storage, and he has, like, the blocks above what are, what's in it, which is kind of cool. Don't know if that's better than what I've got. Probably 
if you want to go in and out of different things, but I don't know, I quite like being able to search and finding it like that. And then I saw this area before, now I do believe I recorded a clip down here with a zoomer at some point, but uh, where I basically found that he had nether wall and I didn't, I, I literally lost mine, I don't know where it's gone, I still haven't found it, I, I definitely gathered it from a nether fortress itself, I remember in livestream doing that, but um, but yeah, so I remember coming down here and I really, really like, I like this down here, what he's got going on, he did have loads of um, tool rods on the ceiling, was that in this part or something that I noticed, that are very, very similar to what you can do with a chisel, but yeah, he used them up here, Drying racks, that's one, not tall racks. Yeah, and I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, and probably a little bit less laggy than chiseled bits, although saying that, that is chisel, chiseled wood. Ah, he's literally only got a one block high ceiling. If you look at that block on the top left, you can see that he's got the gold and um, steel blocky things in the top. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so you can actually make the ceilings a lot closer than uh, they than they originally are. I know he's got a spawner down there as well, but I'm not going to explore too much further because I might end up. Um, hello, I might end up. Uh, is that okay? Cool. Door, oh, you good? Awesome, awesome. But yeah, I really, really like the kind of wall and stuff that Azum's got going on. So we could possibly use that as inspiration for ours. I don't know if we need a wall just yet. It would be nice at some point to have a wall because then I could keep the creepers out, but. I don't know, I quite like that one, but I need it to be a little bit maybe stronger and less likely to let mobs in, possibly. But anyway, I'm going to travel around, look at other people's builds, and um, let me have a quick look actually. Saying that, who is over here? Mr. Scar! Mr. Scarface! <laughs> That's the second time I've said that recently, Mr. Scarface. Scarface is something completely different. But, um, but yeah, his house is looking just incredible. I really, really love the... Uh, the thatch. Oh, it's actually thatch. I thought it was a hay, like, the chiseled. Oh, yeah. I've always loved to use it, like, pe when people use hay and stuff for, for roofs, but I really personally hate the red lines in the hay, um, holding it together and stuff. But, yeah, the thatch looks really great. And it looks very, a very kind of cartoonish build, in a way, because of the bright colours and stuff. Really, really like that. And this is something that I really like as well, the way he's used, um, the chisel and bits. Again, he's used them very kind of slightly, he's not used the very, very tiny ones. But uh, it looks okay, he obviously hasn't done it so much here, but yeah, I think the subtler you are with the chisel and bits, the better. So I'm going to keep an eye on that, it's very, very tempting to go crazy with it. But I have heard another hermit somewhere has used those little chisel and bits things, but I haven't yet seen what they've created with it, so let me see if I can find their base, and uh, we will head over there to take a quick look. Well, I haven't actually found the people that have said that they've done the chisel and bit stuff. Um, I am actually at Biffers, though. I've gone through all the people that I have right now, and Ren Skull Village that I've got marked down isn't actually where Ren or Iskull are actually working, which is sad. I want to go and explore what they're working on, because I don't have time to watch videos. It's quite nice to actually pop to their base, see what's going on, you know, see some things that maybe you want to work on. And, um, yeah, so this kind of thing here, this automatic feeder, for example, that's really kind of cool. So that, um, I want to take a screenshot, please, for my, for my notes. My notes creeper, okay? I don't have a bow or anything on me. Do you reckon I can get in here? Is that, okay, it's fine. No, he's got it. Has he got it? Has he got it? He's got it claimed, hasn't he? If I do that and then that. Yeah, he's got it claimed, but that means I can't go in. Uh, that's the only thing that sucks at the moment about mod, is that like if someone has it claimed, I can't go in. I've unclaimed mine because of that, because I was like, I want people to be able to come in. But yeah, that's a teleporter. I need to make one of them at some point soon. Maybe next episode we'll, we'll do some, some, some uh, teleporting. And uh, what is that in there? What even are these? These look crazy. I can't even tell. Oh, these might actually be... Oh, lag spike. These might actually be, um... No, they are actually... Oh, I'm confused. I thought... Oh, wait, I can actually get in... Oh, no, I can't get in the ceiling. Oh, it lied to me. It lied to me, Biffa. Biffa, let me in. No, I'm joking. Um, and that's the space chamber box. I have no idea what those do, but it looks really cool. I like that he's always got, like, sections, like all clean and tidy. You know, my base is not going to look like that in the slightest. But anyway, the sun is coming up, we better head back to base. Let's see if we can quickly teleport around the place to see if anyone else is set up around here. I don't think they are, but um, yeah, I'll catch you guys back over there.
Though to end the episode, I did a little bit more of the path. I stretched out here and started adding bits about this stage here. And I carried on. Now, I was going to try and add some cracks to my build. Um, but it's not working so well. I think possibly it would look better if maybe I got rid of the cracks in that and made some of them a little bit darker. Not that dark, though. That, that darkness is not, it's not a good... It's not, not good. It, it doesn't look good. It looks terrible, in fact. Um, I need to get a bit of marble and I need to use... Yeah, also, if you haven't if you haven't noticed already, my iron chisel has done the same thing as my um, my normal diamond chisel as well. They've both gone for the uh, the pink and black theme and vibe and whatever. Yeah, so um, another thing I was going to try and do, which I did try a little bit but I can't find the right block yet, um, is make some custom tall grass which is on bits uh, or, or custom grass and custom plants but I think that I'm not at that stage at all yet sadly but we're getting there we're getting there I definitely need to sort out the furniture as well as I keep saying I keep saying furniture is difficult though got to come up with a cool idea I'm thinking I could use something like this but make a bigger one and then have it as like a co coffee table that's like a tree stump if you guys know like what tree stumps are like and stuff that could be pretty cool uh, like having one block, like having it four blocks basically and having each block a quarter. So I might try and do that and make something like that, that could be kind of cool and then put tablecloth on it diagonally. Uh, that could be cool, I don't know where I'd put that exactly though, but I guess it would have to go there. That, that could work, that could work because the corner's cut out, it gives a bit of space between that and the, the sofa. But anyway that is sadly it for this episode guys, remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, and any ideas you have, a special chisel and bits and anything that I should be doing in the next few episodes, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.